Hi, it's Serena from HighlyRecommendedBooks.com and I am here today to tell you how much I loved and why I highly recommend Clive Cussler's book, Fast Ice. Now, what you need to be aware of is that Clive Cussler died in 2020, yet we still get a new book in 2021, which I think is absolutely fabulous. Cussler is, was a prolific writer. He wrote more than 75 books over the course of his career. He had this one still in the pipeline at the time of his death. Maybe they're gonna be more, but if not, this is a great place to leave it because it was a great book. And it, Clive has a, a special significance for me because I live in Phoenix, Arizona, as he spent much of his time in Phoenix, Arizona, and I have seen him in the grocery store, which I think is kind of cool. Another thing that I particularly loved about his books is the fact that he always put himself or a character who looks like him and is supposed to represent him in each of his stories, kind of like Alfred Hitchcock used to do in his movies. Cussler also is important to us because he created the trope of having an ancient artifact that was lost in the sands of time and later is discovered and others are trying to get it or find it or keep it or keep others from getting it, however it plays out in each plot. Anyway, Everyone else has copied that. And clearly it's one of the most influential memes that we have today. Now in Fast Ice, the story begins, there's always a prologue in his books. And in this prologue, he describes for us a Nazi airplane that is flying around. Now, obviously if we're talking Nazi, we're talking about 1940 and the plane is flying around Antarctica and it crash lands because there is fast ice, fast moving ice, fast developing ice that pre prevents the airplane from taking off. Flash forward 60 years, 80 years, and you get to present day somebody has figured out what happened in the past in that to that Nazi plane and figured out that that fast ice had a cause which was a specific kind of algae growing under the ice that created the perfect conditions for fast forming, fast moving ice. And in the story, there are two factions one faction being a group that wants to harness the power of this fast moving ice to catastrophically change the climate. And there's another group that wants to prevent it. Obviously that being the heroes of the story, the heroes of the story here being agents of NUMA. And NUMA is a National Underwater Marine Association, which in the story, and, and there are several NUMA books that Cussler wrote, but in this, this story, and the NUMA group is a quasi-governmental agency. In real life, uh, Cussler created NUMA and used his resources and the resources of the NUMA Foundation to find shipwrecks, which I think is kind of cool too, that he was actually living what he was writing. Anyway, it's a really exciting book and it's hot out right now. So reading a book about fast ice and Antarctica and freezing cold felt really, really good to me. And I highly recommend this book to everyone who loved Clive Cussler, loved his books and wants that one more book, but it would stand on its own even if he were still alive and still writing but I highly recommend it. So get it, read it. And while you're doing that, make sure you check out my website, highlyrecommendedbooks.com. Click the button, sign up for my email list. The email list will get you 
onto my newsletter and the newsletter, I take all the names of people on that list and I have a once a month uh, drawing where I'm gonna give somebody a book box that has great prizes in it. Check back frequently and make sure you keep reading and have a great day. Bye.